Hi everyone, it's Kaylee. What's up? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have a video that I'm making. Yes, I am wearing a shirt. Um, I have a video that I'm making for my plants. I might be doing updates every so often as well because I bought a variegated Monstera Deliciosa cutting and um, I'm going to show you guys how I propagated and everything. And then I also bought cuttings for a pink princess philodendron and it's very variegated so I'm absolutely in love. But I want to make sure that video comes out when everything takes root and is propagated and I'm just going to be doing updates on one single video and in the meantime I'm also going to be doing other plant videos and other makeup videos so I got some of the Juvia's Place palettes in my other video I used the pink one that's right here the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's I have this one, the other one, and the other one I have three of her palettes but I also bought what came in the mail yesterday. The Berries by Juvia's. The Nomad by Juvia's. The Warrior 2 by Juvia's. And then I also got the Disney Morphe collection. Um, I just absolutely fell in love with this. When I saw like all the way they're pressed and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I don't care if I have the colors. I just had to buy it. It was just gorgeous, 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 darling. I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera, and then after I do my eyebrows, I'm going to show you guys how I want to do my eyeshadow. Okay, you guys, so honestly, I prime my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, because that's normally what I use. Um, it's just like my comfort primer. I always have to use it. Um, and then for my eyebrows, I went in with the MAC Velux Brow Liner in Velvetone, and I like this one because I like the pencil form. I don't like this one that's super skinny because sometimes I'm a little clumsy and I break them. Um, and then I used the Wet n Wild Brow Sensitive in the shade brown for my eyebrow gel. I'm going to use this palette right here just for a mirror and make sure everything is blent out. So the look I'm going to go for is like um, a very Thanksgiving -y look. Yeah, feel me? Yeah, feel me? Um... I can't decide between the two. I think they're absolutely both gorgeous palettes. And I love, love, love the packaging. I think I'm just going to use the Nomad by Juvia's. Honestly, this reminds me, like, the O and this kind of, like, gives me, like, some, like, the Dorothy vibes from the Wizard of Oz. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I won't be able to answer that question. I just feel like the green the like emerald city you know you feel me you feel me and then to blend out my paint pot i am using my real techniques expert concealer gun. so to start with my eyeshadow first i'm gonna throw it plastic normally i don't throw these away sometimes i do sometimes i don't it just depends if they have the colors on them i don't if they don't have the colors on them i mean if they don't have the colors on them i don't throw them. i throw them out if they do i don't throw it out okay yeah i was about to say is so backwards so i'm gonna go with this really pretty brown orangey color it's a very warm tone color um let's see i like to start darker normally so that's what we're doing and we're taking this on a mac 224s brush and then i'm going to be blending this in circular motions and again, we are getting ready for work because normally I make my videos when I get ready for work because I go to work a lot and I wear makeup a lot. So, well, when I don't work, put it this way, when I don't work, I try not to put on as much makeup just to give my skin some, like, time to, like, you know, breathe from the product. So, yeah, that's my reasoning to why I make most of my videos when I go to work because I used to wear makeup all the time, but I feel like ever since I work so much, um, and I work at MAC and I do makeup, and then I do like weddings and hair on the side, I feel like I always have to try to look professional, you know, look the part, act the part type of stuff. So I feel like I'm always wearing makeup and I just also feel like something that's good to give your skin just able to breathe every so often. Um, I'm going to be blending this in circular and swiping motions. I just went to Salon Centric today to buy some stuff because I had to do some girl's hair. But honestly, it kind of sucked because technically I have my license, 
but technically I don't. So according to the state of California, and they're changing their laws, and it's like you have to have a thousand hours to complete cosmetology and take your test. Now to get your hours of completion, you're supposed to have 1600 hours, which it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Um, I don't know if they're doing that just to like get people to have jobs and stuff. Um, I'm gonna go in with this color right here on the corner. I don't know like why they're doing that. It just doesn't make that much sense to me because it's like they're no longer having hands-on. So starting January, they're no longer having hands-on and it kind of sucked because I took my written and then when I was gonna go take my hands-on, I couldn't take it. Basically, I had my birthday, my, um, I guess my driver's license expired and I don't have a California ID because I have a driver's license. I never had to get an ID because I have a driver's license. Because I've always had my driver's license since I was like 17. Because in the state of California, you go on your provisional permit for, I think it's a year. Yeah. And then you go on your provisional license. So actually, no, you get your permit, you get your provisional for six months, you go on your provisional license, and there's like criteria you have to follow. And then after you follow that criteria, you have your provisional license for a year. So anyways, I did everything on time from when I was 15 and a half from getting my permit and whatever. So like, it just kind of sucks because I didn't know my like license was expired for like a month. So they basically told me that, they literally asked me, oh, we can't take this. Why? It's expired. Where's your visa? My visa? Girl, I don't got a visa. And then they asked me for a green card. Actually, I kind of felt very, very subjected towards, like, I felt like they were actually trying to be racist towards me. And, like, I don't know. A lot of people think I like Middle Eastern. I don't see it. But everyone thinks I look Middle Eastern. I don't know, and I don't care. But I don't think people should be treated like that. Whether you're Middle Eastern, whatever you are. I don't care. I don't believe in that stuff. Look, we all bleed the same color. We all bleed red, okay? I'm Puerto Rican and whatever. So, um, I'm gonna go with this cute color right here. I hope that's not too olive. That's a very caramelly olive brown. And I'm all using the same brush. No, but yeah, that happened. So then when I went to go take my hands on, I couldn't take it. It just kind of sucked. So it's like, I wanted to go get the Pulp Riot color remover and I was only able to get two because since it's not January yet, I don't have my license because state board is allowing people who already took the written to get basically grandfathered into next year's thing because next year, none of us will have to be taking the hands-on since I already took the written, I passed the cosmetology test. But since the law doesn't pass until January, my license is not in effect till January. <sighs> so it's like, I wanted to get like a couple of them, like four, cause like, you know, I did a lot of people's hair, like on my boyfriend's hair and all. And I, um, I'm gonna go back in with the orange, the first shade I use. I did my boyfriend's hair, I did my hair, I did my friend's hair, you know, just a lot of people that I know. And it just kind of sucked because like, I need a color remover and they only let me get two packets. Which I've never had that problem there before, but I went to a different one today, so I don't know. And that's the story of the license and everything and what happened at basically state board. I did not have a great time. Um, <laughs> what do you expect? It's a state. Um, so yeah, um, I am actually obsessed with this palette. It's very, I feel like it's very neutral, but at the same time, they're not like neutral neutral like these colors are just gorgeous like i'm literally obsessed i kind of want to let me see that's how the yellow looks looks like that i don't know i'm gonna try to put this on my lid like how it goes in the bro Ooh, it is yellow <sighs> so this is gonna be my like neutral Ooh, that is pretty it's gonna be like my neutral Thanksgiving look. To me, this is very neutral. So I mean, not neutral, but it's kind of natural at the same time. 
Okay, Kelly. Honestly, I'm literally obsessed with the yellow. I feel like it's very hard to find a super good yellow in a palette because sometimes they're not super pigmented. Yeah, but that's basically what's going on right now and whatnot in my life, so. At this point, it's just hurry up and wait. And they already scheduled all exams for 2021, so it's not like I could like hurry up and get an exam and then just get my license a week from now. No, I literally have to wait until January and I don't really have a choice. So it sucks because I wanted to get more than one, two Pope Riot bags. If anyone knows what they are, they're little tiny packets of color remover. They don't really sell a huge thing of color remover. Yeah, they don't. They only sell packets. And then I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush again. But that's another collection from a different year. Um, I'm going to be doing my face off camera like I normally do. And I'm going to show you guys the products. Oh, my rat is crying. I'm going to show you guys the products that I use afterwards. Okay, everyone. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, the camera is like moving. So we are done with the makeup. Um, for the bottom eyeshadow on the bottom of my under eye. I use this color right here, and I still use the same MAC brush. Basically, if I use a super dark color, then I'll go in with another brush, or it's a whole other color, it's another brush. But for the most part, I go with the same brush as long as it's near the same or similar color scheme. For my concealer, I use the Kylie Concealer in the shade Maple. You know, honestly, there's nothing to brag about this. I think I just bought it like like last year during 21 Days of Ulta. I wouldn't really say there's anything specific that I love about it. I don't really care about the product and I don't see myself buying it again. I just need to finish up using it. And obviously this shade is a little too dark for my skin. I do feel like if it was more an olive tone, it would like match perfect. Like I normally get concealers a little lighter than my skin, but this one is just not the tone and um i don't know i just feel like it'd be like better with just a different color sorry everyone i had to sneeze my bad i had allergies so this one is a little pinkish um i just use it to color correct my under eyes normally when i use it it's just maybe to color correct oh my eye is getting watery and that reminds me i'm gonna take my allergy medicine and then for my like powder and everything else i use the mac studio fix powder in the shade nc20 i know this is a little light but normally when i use it i literally just use it for my under eyes when i put it on the rest of my face i make sure like i bronze or highlight or contour um i absolutely love this powder it has really good coverage if i don't use this i normally use the color pop or i use the makeup for everyone as well and then for my blush i use my mineralized blush in love joy from mac um honestly ever since i've been working for mac i tried a lot more products than what i used to i used to be into like all their skin products and stuff like that like the concealers the foundations and now that i like work there i got into the eyebrows they have like i am very picky and i feel like i like a lot of their products and especially this mascara this is the hot and naughty waterproof flash mascara i'm wearing it right now when you take it out it goes like this I like to do waterproof because I have allergies. And then when you take out the top one, it's a skinnier brush. Or is it this? I think it's two different brushes. Ah, no, it's not. Ah, ha, ha. So when you go like this, it puts more product. And then, oh my gosh, I just did that. It's okay, I'll fix it in a second. I'm really into the MAC Glow Play Lip Balm. This is in the shade that tickles. Honestly, I'm obsessed with most lip balms or glosses or stuff like that. This is very sheer. You put it on. And it's just super sheer. I like it because I feel like it makes my lips look big. And that's why I love glossy stuff. And I do matte, but sometimes I like the gloss a lot better thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it please give me a like share comment and subscribe follow my instagram that i'll put down below when i reach 500 i'll be doing a giveaway and thank you for watching and if you would like to see other stuff please let me know or dm me my instagram bye